Creating Grading Rubrics in Schoology The best place to start building rubrics is in resources. In order to make sure all of your files stay organized, click Add Resources, click Add Folder. Let's make one for rubrics. Out my rubrics to be at the top, so I'm going to go to Options, Reorder Collection, click on the arrow and drag rubrics to the top. To the top. To the top. <laughs> okay, submit. And then I'm going to open up, open up my rubrics and then I'm going to add another folder for different subjects. So I'm going to put ELD here, create. So I will just start making and organizing all my stuff like that. Create, create. All right, so now I have a place for all my rubrics. So I'm gonna go into ELD, for example. Load up the ELD and I'm going to create a rubric. So I'm gonna add that resource. Oops, switched on me. Click on add rubric. So now from here, um, I'm gonna make a rubric for a presentation. Or ELD. Um, so you have a couple options here. You can manually add like the title for the criteria, like um, you know, clarity of speech, accuracy of, of language use, and then add a description and then change your grading scale. You can change these manually uh, by just typing in the different scores. Um, you can change the descriptor for each score. You can add columns, so you can add point points. So uh, you can add a column, so you can make this. Uh, worth five points if you'd like. So, and then change the descriptor. So it's completely customizable. Um, okay, so that kind of go, um, goes over customizing each criteria that you wanna add. You can add a criteria like that. Um, I'm gonna delete this criteria though. Okay, and one really cool thing about making rubrics in Schoology is that you have these learning objectives. So this will bring up a list of all pre-plugged um, standards and um, objectives for lots of different courses. So since I am uh, just chose the um, ELD class, I'm gonna go to state standards. I'm gonna go to California, content standards. Um, scroll down, I'm gonna find ELD 2012. Um, and then I'm gonna go to grade nine and 10. And then part one. So you kind of have to know your way around whatever standards you're working with. Um, I'm pretty familiar with the ELD standards, so that's why I chose it. Um, and then I'm going to go to productive. And let's see, I want expressing information, so I'm going to add that one. I'm going to add the bridging uh, standard. Um, so it's already automatically added. And then I'm going to go back. So I'm going to go back to these breadcrumbs. Um, and I'm also going to add selecting and applying very precise vocabulary. Okay, I want to add that one. So there are several different ones. I'm going to add the, let's see, both of the bridging standards, and then I'm done. So close it. Um, I'm going to, so there is a blank one up here. I'm going to delete it. So now I have the three criteria that I want to grade my students um, on. Um, so it's up to you, whatever your grading scale is, to modify these. You can delete columns or delete cells. So if you want to make like maybe one of them is worth fewer points for whatever reason, you could delete them and all the other ones would still be worth four, but I could delete, I can make this worth two. It just depends really on what your grading scheme is. Um, but then once you're finished, I might say presentation or I want to say presenting presentating that's hilarious uh, <laughs> presenting and then I'm gonna hit create okay so now presenting is saved in there in my ELD standards um, and if I wanted to create more rubrics that I could use later on then I would just simply go to add resources and go to add rubric and continue to continue to build and save